So let's actually try that to electrocute the robot. Come on. I guess I have to time it right. Now one, two, three, there we go. Now that did the trick. Now there's the activated sentry robot. The sentry robot sits motionless as a wisp of smoke twirls from the burning CPU. Let's strip it. Easy what did you get, John? We did get a twisted metal. This isn't going to work. Can we use this on the uh, energy cells? I don't think this will fit. I'm not sure. Um, before we do that, let's try the platform. See if we can go up to next level. I wonder if I touch this thing, uh, will I die? Warning. The oxygen atmosphere generating system is no longer functioning. Product failure is imminent. So we should make haste. Okay, let's try to use this thing. No, we can't try to use it. It's another power pad. What does it do? There must be something I can use on it. I don't think this will fit. Can you put a gun on it? This isn't gonna work. I don't think that'll work. We need something I heavy. See it working like that. Hmm. I don't think that'll work. Uh, I think that would break. Nope. I don't think I can pass through here. Besides, there's nothing over there. Um. So let's try to go back and see if we can use the twisted metal on something. Maybe on the power cell? Uh, I think that'll just break it. I can't do anything with it, I can't rotate it. So no luck there. Hmm. High temperature slug on, what does it do? Hmm. Hmm, what? I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Can I shoot the machinery? I can try to make it fit, but it may break. This one is down. What am I to do here? Let me try to think. There's the sink. We got an empty pistol. John's personal data tag. Maybe we should try passing to the uh, this platform. There's something with the power pad, but I'm not sure what. Hmm, maybe. 
Mm, no. Maybe if it... No. No, that won't work. <laughs> what the heck? Just shooting at the airlock. Why did you do that? I wonder if I need to do something from here, from this place. Okay, let's try to go this way, see what happens. No, I just can't go there. Oh, there's another... Oh, come on, there's another place. Mutagen Laboratory. The sheeted canopy leads to a facility named the Mutagen Laboratory. Totally missed that. That fixes my problems for now. So, a lot of things going on in here as well. Let's start over here, read out screens. The screens are replete with analytical data about the subjects around you. Results of various tests, which you don't understand, flash across the screen in a blur. Uh, there is a PDA, let's read it. From Dr. Marvin De Santos. March 2. Man, that bitch from shipping won't get off my back. You fuck a girl real good and she just comes crawling back. If she doesn't get out of my hair, I'll have her moved off of ship. Dr. Milan's a prick, but he looks after me like that. I gotta say, being on Project Seed is awesome, man. Okay, so we gotta do some pretty noxious shit, but in exchange, I got a lot of protection and an honorary title, Dr. De Santos. The music is loud in here. I like it. Dr. Milan knows about my contacts and private cargo that arrives on board, and now he hates it, but there ain't nobody else prepared to work under Dr. Beckman. That guy is one twisted fuck, and also one of my best customers. I get imports, sure, but my own private lab is what manufactured Beckman's pathway shit. Funny, I never realized how dependent these smart asses of science are on drugs. Personally, never touch the stuff. You gotta have your wits about you, man, especially around here. And May 15, wow. Dr. Williams, Charlotte, I never would have figured that uptight woman was a slut, but holy hell, she just gave me the ride of my fucking life. Who'd have thought it? Slinky lace under that lab coat of hers, and for a woman in her mid-forties, a body that makes you want to get on your knees and howl at the moon. It's kind of a player, huh? Against a table, pressed up against a few port windows, on top, underneath, like a freaking rattlesnake. Of course she's Looney Tunes, probably thinks I'm her dead husband or something. Like I care, as long as she keeps coming to me to fulfill her needs. Crazy but smart, and she has no idea how much I know about her little project. I saw the details. People just think I'm a smack-talking smartass, but I've been training on the groom legs since I was 16. I studied chemistry and genetics, aced all of it too. She thinks I'm too stupid to understand. September 9, thinking I could have forgotten myself into deep here. The drug thing was fine, but this whole industrial spinish thing is kind of freaky. I don't think Dr. Milan knows. I know Lincoln watches me with an eagle eye, but he can't know for sure. If he did, he'd eject my ship from the ship with the rest the ass from the ship with the rest of the failed hybrids, but goddamn the money is good. I earned my year's salary by sending some info to Black Star Industries. My contact gave me more money than I can conceive for leaking one report. One. I met a guy while I was on leave. He was a smug dickhead who somehow knew what he did, and then he flashed the cash. I've got no loyalties to the company, and I know how Dr. Milan treats loyal staff. That guy can turn on a dime when it suits him. I've heard of weird shit going down in the decks below. And Seed has me feeling it'll soon be time to get the hell out of Dodge, Prano. One or two more reports might just give me what I need. Then November 20, nobody knows about my little ex of a spinish. But who'd care, the ship is falling apart. Some of those fucked up things that Beckman and Milan made are on the prowl. I stashed away from away my cash as soon as I heard things were going wrong, but money ain't gonna make a spit's worth of difference if we all get killed. Milan's taking all this way too calmly. Actually, I'd say he's enjoying all this. 
He came into the lab this morning, he still makes all reports to the lab and was grinning the whole damn time, his eyes all red like it was coming down from a high. That guy does not need drugs for a high, his general fucked upness is what he writes and there was me thinking Beckman was a crazy one. Well he sure is a mouthful, this is Santos, swearing and stuff. February 1 is just us, oh god not even Beckman's around now. Charlotte was dragged away to the labs a few days ago, we were sealed off from the other decks. I reckon it's only a matter of time before Milan decides to do something about me too. I've been living on this ship for years. I know about hidden passages that even Milan doesn't know about. I'll get over to the communications array and let off a signal. Hopefully they'll get us before Dr. Milan finds out. So this is in February. This is the farthest point I've read in PDAs, because they all stop and die in January or December, although this one guy might still be alive. And there are gross things in here. Okay, let's check the rest. Eviscerated corpse. In the aftermath of his, this body's evisceration, you can't tell whether his legs were removed or whether it ever had any. And there's a terminal. A splayed open human body. Do medical schools ever feature bodies that so grossly exhibit their internal organs? Conjoined mass. One of the failed experiments. A lump of organs held together by wrinkled skin. Bone poke through the flesh in spots. There are three terminals. Let's see what I can do with them. You allow this. This is the purpose of the green lake. It's not on Earth. People can't see it. So they don't care. But if they knew. So what? Uh, Leia doesn't care, so this is slog gun operations manual. A warning. Mutagen laboratory, a hybrid reject 811 reported by Dr. G. Milan. A highly unusual form of rejection such as as has not been observed before manifested in this hybrid. If it's entirely possible that the mut mutagenic compounds used to synthesize the hybrid DNA was faulty in this particular instance, usually with any rejection there is a sign of initial bonding and then a breakdown, but in this case there was absolutely no bonding attempted whatsoever. Given the thoroughness with which we create the DNA, I suspect that the centrifuge machine for this particular batch was faulty. Repair and the maintenance check of the machine is ordered immediately. Recommendation, destroy what remains and also destroy the fetus. And the second one. A hybrid reject C, report by Beckman. The subject died during birth. It can only be surmised that death was due to a failing in the host, as all reports and tests leading up to the birth showed no signs of fetal defect. Upon further investigation of the woman's medical history, it was noted that she experienced complications when giving birth to a child previously. This host would not have been used had this been highlighted. In light of her medical history, I now assume this was, this was the cause of the fetal distress and death of the subject. Note, host is being kept alive and has undergone one transfusion. Recommendation, revokes host life support order and dispose of body with hybrid reject C. And the last one, uh, 604 by uh, Williams, during the autopsy of hybrid 604 there were signs of ren renal failure. It appears the kidneys were unable to process the amino acids required for the breakdown of nutrients. The damage to the liver, stomach and intestines show the same degenerative patterns. Reason? It is possible that the report of the mother giving birth three months prior was an error. Com comment? Further reports regarding the failure of mutagenic compounds will be finalized later. She has a seed card. What was on this terminal? Nothing. Okay, so that was a lot of reading again. Uh, and there are hospital screens, typical hospital screens used to protect the dignity of a patient. Preserved conjoined twins. The corpse of a creature hangs preserved. It may have been a twin. Two heads are fused together and a pair of spines meets. Each spine wraps around the other like a gnarled mountain range. <laughs> How did they come up with this stuff? I mean the developers. Uh, there's a human skeleton, a standard looking human skeleton, a large infant skeleton. This is a skeleton of what must have been a very large infant. And here we have readout screens, test results flash across the screen. 
and there's a liquid nitrogen canister. The canister of liquid nitrogen feeds the surrounding specimen containers. What did you pick up? A liquid nitrogen canister. Can I combine it? <laughs> That's just crazy. Well, no. Nah, that's ridiculous. I don't think that'll work. Nope. Okay, so what do we have here? Overgrown hybrid. This appalling distended creature appears to be a hybrid, although what it is unknown. It is not completely human, that much is absolutely certain. A scanning machinery, the scanning bays glow with an eager light. The scanner, pulsing with phosphorus light, awaits its next patient. Uh, conjoined twin hybrids, two bodies conjoined and the head share one brain. It doesn't seem that the brain is up to the task of coordinating movement between the two bodies. They're just <laughs> making monsters here. Uh, machinery and readout screens, this readout tracks factors like equipment feedback and resistance thresholds. Another power cell. Here we have a computer terminal. There's another code for this one. The console is dormant, awaiting input from the staff who will never return to work in this slaughterhouse. No. Crazy. Nope. A uh, recent blood discharge, a recent blood discharge hints that this life form isn't viable in the long term. What is this thing? Pulsating mass of flesh and bone. A hideous agglomeration of flesh and bone. Limbs just haphazardly form its mass. It sports a human head that gurgles out of sync with the pulsing of its other parts. Human host, the human appears to be a host for the genetic hybrid growing out of it. Birth was clearly messy and painful. Oh, yuck. Machinery, this must be where diagnostics for experiments are reviewed. And we got another PDA. If they were more open, this wouldn't happen. Open to who? The people? Governments? Other corporations? Podcast. A bit of our humanity, I suppose. Okay, so there we go, uh, go again. This is from Dr. Clifford Beckman himself. January. They said I'd never make it to 60. Ha, 85, you fuckers. Old and still cooking with gas. Three bastard kids and I outlived them all. Okay, so I was young then I had when I had them. Those girls never even knew I was a father, of course. I had to switch the DNA samples, so they didn't know the little shits were mine. I'm too old now for all that, but you never completely lose your eye for your la lose your eye for ladies. Old, dirty man. February 28th. I might have false teeth, Dr. Milan, but I'm no moron. For the good of humanity, I'm a sociopath and alleged rapist of women. Your little speech to the crew was less sincere than anything I could say with a straight face. At least you know how to turn a blind eye. Whenever I have to get rid of troublesome subjects, right Milan? The new gas for the chambers is working splendidly. An improved kill rate of 60% on the old formula. I watch those poor fuckers writhe and die. We have a viewing window now, just so we can make sure it's done. If I were a moral man, I'd call it perverse. It's lucky for Project Seed that I couldn't give a shit. I thrive when I don't have to answer to everyone with a conscience. March. This will not do, not at all, I need more subjects. The rejection ratio of the DNA splicing is stratospheric, so not only do I need more bodies, but I need better ones. They bring me imports and strays, but the best results are, are achieved with crew members. One cannot pray too often on those, of course, no matter the need. My chosen ones were always those who wouldn't be missed. The furnaces are inadequate for my disposal requirements. I'm told they're so hot that they could destroy dark matter. They seem slow to respond when burning flesh though, and the smell is hardly pleasant either. It reminds me of that injured dog that I found as a little boy growing up in misery. Missouri. It looked at me with a pleading look, the kind a sick patient gives a doctor they trust absolutely. Naturally, I stomped on the mongrel's head, it was a mercy. 
There are too many in society who have a simil similarly damaged disposition. It's a kindness to snuff out their worthless lives. <laughs> he really is a psychopath. August, I must get more pathway. That little prick de Santos is usually more than forthcoming with his ingredients, but he says his own suppliers are having problems. I know you, de Santos. I know you're not a real doctor. I know the kind. I have five PhDs and can tell when men have been hired for their instincts rather than their knowledge. Meanwhile, the cutting and splicing continues. Oh, and Charlotte, we all know about your little experiment, you stupid bitch. First she kills her partner by accidentally exposing him to a lethal virus, and then she goes gaga for him. That's the sort of beautiful incompetence that slays me. I spent years perfecting the yard of the kill, making a murder appear in mishap, and she went and did it all completely by accident. What perfect nonsense. October 10, I held the subject down today and used my surgical hammer to cave in his windpipe. Then I gouged out his eyes and tried to rip his jaw from its socket. Oh man, my goodness, what an outburst. I'm becoming careless. I need more pathway. Dr. Milan is starting to worry that my tendencies cannot be controlled. He need not worry. I'm still focused on seed. Seed is still just that, a seed. But this chrysalis will soon break open and blossom. The successfully bred Homo novi wait in their containment cells, while their unsuccessful brethren, reduced to a viral mulch that's already breached, the containment seals of the ship grow. G genetic makeup might be little more than trash, but it is astoundingly tenacious. Tenacious. I have to respect that which kills which is such efficiency. November 12, I woke up in the emergency room today. Somebody found me on the stairs. I can't remember much. What I do know is that both my fucking legs are up in casts. I better get comfortable because Dr. Graham says I'll be in here for at least a month. Serves him right. Last, no, not the last one. We die as the Novi cut us down. But I'm not ready to be replaced by new species. Our creations are impressive, but I don't share Milan's fanaticism for what is happening here. I must try to make sure one of the lifeboats is available for me. A shame there was not another for that delectable young thing. What was her name? Callister? I would have liked to have her around when the ship was going to hell. She's dead, however. How unfortunate. January 3. I, I may be old, but I'll tear anyone who tries to stop me from leaving a part at the limbs. I have survived police investigations, court cases, vengeful spouses and idealistic lab hands. I will gut any shit back trying to prevent my escape. And that includes you, Milan. I will jab out your eyeballs and eat them before I submit to you. Oh, he's incredibly crazy. Yeah, I hope I don't have to meet him. Although he's old, so I could take him on. Okay, so what is the next step? 